So the most asked question in history, why would I spend more than $100 on a chair? What's the difference between a $100 one and a very expensive model? Okay, so this is gonna be a really interesting video. This $120 best rated Amazon chair versus this one, the $1,800 Herman Miller Aeron. Can there be 18 times the difference? So I bought this chair off Amazon, which I thought kind of resembles the design of the very expensive Herman Miller Aeron chair. Now the Amazon chair was $120 to be exact. So first off, when you have these side by side, what's the most apparent difference? To me, that would be build quality, smell, materials are definitely cheaper feeling on the $120 one, the mesh is much rougher, not as refined, you have to assemble it yourself, the seat is a foam one, which will be flattened throughout its use, most likely faster than you would imagine, and last but not least, all of the modes you'd miss out on. Let me elaborate. When first sitting on this $120 chair, it doesn't appear that bad, it's pretty comfortable actually, for shorter session that is. You can recline in it, you can use the counterweight system and its lumbar support is decent. The armrests feel good too, but they have this incline, which feels as if your arm is locked in place in a good way. But then the mesh on the back, it's absolutely horrible quality. It already feels loose out of the box and the plastic parts behind it don't look that comfortable at all. So I can imagine that in a year, this won't be as comfortable anymore or even earlier than that. Then I also can't help but notice there is rough edges and unpolished bits and pieces all over this chair. Some scratches on the plastic and overall doesn't look new to me. Don't even get me started on the very chemically plasticky smell that these chairs come with. I can't get used to it. But these are the consequences of cheap production and thus cheap price. It may be great for people who cannot afford to spend more than this on a chair and I totally understand that. I'm also not trying to get you to purchase a new Herman Miller chair, merely pointing out the differences. So you'd better understand. Now some would make the argument that even if it lasts only a year, you could still buy 12 more and it would still be the same price as the Aeron. And you'd be right. But the Herman Miller chairs are advertised at lasting at least 12 and a half years. But these chairs are beasts. So if that's the best argument, then I would still recommend you sit in a premium chair for the same price for 10 years, then you would replace the cheapo one every year. And then pollute the environment with 12 chairs. The recline function on the $120 chair is also very basic. Really, all it is is recline freely, lock, and recline with the seat while you do it. But it looks very advanced. And that's also the reason why they put it there. Now the Aeron chair, the mesh is obviously much better and it has this flexible aspect to it, which bends with you, making it very comfortable even though it may not look like it. I would prefer this over a leather cushion seat as far as comfort goes. It just hugs my back, forcing me to stay upright. But it's also very cool in the summers. Now imagine having a hot summer day in the $120 chair. That material will itch and feel very uncomfortable. The Aeron has these two soft armrests too. And even though I would prefer flat ones, I got used to them pretty quick. Now obviously you can customize this chair to your liking. With weight-based recline, which you can set on your preferred counterweight with this handle, but also lock it, move forward in the chair, to still have that lumbar support while working with your hands for example, you can also change the height of the armrests, something which the $120 chair can also do, but once again feels a lot cheaper with plastic parts. Then you can also change the lumbar support itself, making it more or less firm. You can move the armrests from left to right and even forward and backwards too. So a lot of flexibility here. The casters on the Aeron aren't all that great to be honest but the $120 chair makes me appreciate them since these are so bad, everything else feels like a blessing. You'd think that IKEA casters are the worst. Well, think again. Now to conclude this experiment. Yes, it's worth it to buy a very expensive chair 
if you use it a lot. And no, this isn't the only chair at the price point. There is probably better ones and probably a lot lesser ones too. But since this one was best rated on Amazon, I was very curious how it would stack up against the Aeron. Now does this mean you have to spend $1800 on a chair? No, there are solid chairs much cheaper than that too. And in the end, you will have to justify the cost. And I can only give you the evidence that indeed there is a huge difference in quality. Some people would say that a $1,200 phone is too expensive. Well, for something you use every day, I don't agree. But I can also see and acknowledge the fact that not everyone can or will prioritize purchases based on how much they're being used. Now, are you interested in the Herman Miller Embody versus the Aeron video? Click on it and I'll see you there. If not, then consider subscribing.